Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick Q&A going through some of the biggest questions you guys have as well as some that you submit on Instagram and here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first question I always get asked is on my dual exhaust conversion. More specifically, this piece right here, the rear lower valance, rear bumper extension, it does have a few different names. I got mine from FordParts.com. I believe they call it the bumper extension sidebar on there or something like that. But nonetheless, though it does have a few different names, here is the part number right here. This will definitely be the easiest way to find it. And it was only about $137 plus another $20 for tax and shipping. So $157 altogether, really, really good deal for what it does. And a direct bolt on replacement up to, I believe, 2018, I think. What was my first car and first mod? So my first car was actually this 67 Impala right here, but I did get a hand-me-down Suburban and the first mod for that was I believe a new grill, but at about the same time we did a lift kit, new wheels and tires, and fender flares. So all that stuff kind of got piled together. I do have a video on that vehicle right up here, but ended up selling it because I needed something with fuel economy and in came Fusion. How much vinyl did I order for my wrap? So I ordered a roll of five by 59 feet and that was plenty. Granted, did not do the roof, but nonetheless, we still had a lot left over. Where can you find the headlights? The headlights are from eBay and the size for the halos is 80 millimeters. Why did I choose a Fusion and what other car would I modify the same way? So I chose a Fusion because in my opinion, it has the best styling. It got better fuel economy than the other four door sedans that I was looking at. And it has the biggest aftermarket support that I could find. You know, you have the plug-in hybrid all the way to the Fusion Sport. So, you know, a lot of opportunity there for sure. And another car I would do the same way. If I didn't have the Fusion specifically, it'd probably be a Focus hatchback. But if it wasn't so much of what I was specifically needing at the time, uh, I'd probably go with like a C5 Corvette because I love Corvettes. What year is the car? She's a 2014. Now I have been asked a good bit about these fog lights and they are nothing fancy, trust me. They are literally just the little eBay $10 ones. As long as it's a three inch circle, it'll basically fit. But I do wanna do a video where I actually upgrade these and do some RGB stuff, I think it'd be really cool. So that's in the works for sure, but um, don't, don't worry about these. If you find anything on eBay that's three inches, it costs $10, it'll probably be the same thing. That was actually one of the first things I did to the car because it was so cheap and um, just wanna do stuff. Are you gonna do another reacting to your Fusions video? Yes, I definitely wanna bring the series back. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I do have another one planned. I just gotta actually schedule it. But uh, if you do wanna submit your car, here's the email right here. Just give me a breakdown of your car. Select so like the year, the trim, the mods you've done. Uh, make sure to add photos and videos and you might be in the next video. Links, so I do have a mods list video that I posted in December. I believe I'm gonna link it over here. And that video has a collection of links in the description box underneath the video that can actually show you basically everything that's on the cars. So if you're looking for like the front lip, the grill, anything super specific, the link is in that description box. Favorite and least favorite thing about the Fusion. So my favorite thing would probably have to be the overall appeal it has because again, such a wide array of different models from plug-in hybrid all the way to the Fusion Sport. And with that, there's a lot of opportunity to build it up however you want. So say you wanna go more performance oriented, say you wanna do something more just customization or just you know good fuel economy daily driver. You can do all that stuff so it's very easy to make it your own and then the least favorite thing would probably be the fact that they never gave us the wagon version here in the US because that is one of my bucket list cars as of right now pros and cons of modding your fusion so pros uh, it's a lot of fun you get to enjoy your car a little bit more you get more familiar with your car does that sense of pride that you actually worked on your car and did something to it becomes more unique for sure and you can definitely enjoy the driving experience a lot more cons depending on what it is you can take away some of the practicality of the car um, but I mean, it's usually pretty in-depth stuff to get to that point for sure, but it's not always super notable. It is just something that comes up every once in a while and, um, money, most of them cost money, but again, makes the car so much more fun. Wheel and tire sizes. So the wheels are created CR102s and they are 20 by nine with a 38 millimeter offset. The tires are Nino Motivos, 255, 35, 20. Now stemming from that, will I lower or bag the car? I absolutely would love to. I think the car would look great with it. Only thing is, as of right now, I can't really reason it because I drive this car way too often and can't really lose that level of practicality just yet. So I'm gonna lump a few questions together just because they have the same answer. But um, basically, do I have any plans to sell the car? Any plans for the future of the Fusion, et cetera, et cetera. And I kind of look at it as the Fusion having different iterations, if that makes sense, or different versions. So like V1, the monochromatic black and white, V2, how it is now, gray purple wrap, silver wheels. So I don't really ever see myself selling the car in that aspect that I like finish it or something. Uh, I basically see it as an opportunity to kind of change up the look entirely because there's so much that I want to do to this car. I will tell you, I already found another color that I would absolutely love to wrap this car in. I already found another set of wheels. Honestly, just 
comparatively, that changes a lot of the experience of the car, just a different color, different wheels. So I do see a good bit of the iterations following that. And I basically want to do a lot to this car. It's all basically just a matter of how in-depth do I really want to go. I'd love to do an engine swap, um, love to do a wide body kit, all these things that I think would be really, really fun. Uh, they're a little bit more out of the realm right now, just because again, this is my daily, but I do see myself say getting another vehicle that would be taking the place of this Fusion as a daily. And in that scenario, I would basically want to just go nuts with this one. Tips and tricks for starting a YouTube channel. So I would definitely say the biggest thing is really just go for it because there's not going to be a specific nudge or direction where someone's like, hey, can you make a YouTube channel for X, Y, and Z? It's going to be all on you. You know, the way that I do, I'm just here in my garage is filming, but you can always look at it in a sense of just documenting what you're doing because you know a lot of the stuff that I've done to my car, there wasn't necessarily videos out on it or information out on it. That's really what I wanted to do. I wanted to show people, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what the part is, this is how it works. And you know, just going off like that, uh, maybe you wanna do like vlogs, just car meets and whatnot. There's definitely a lot of stuff that you can do and that's the beauty of it. It's your channel, you can do whatever you want on it. Um, so really just go for it. And then the other thing would definitely be to be consistent because that's the easiest way to grow. You just gotta have a schedule post like once a week and you'll definitely see some in engagement there. Don't necessarily have to treat it like a super strict routine because you definitely want to be able to enjoy it, but consistency is key for sure. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for 12,000 subs. That was the occasion for this video. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next one. Favorite person other than Yvette in Austin? Because I don't want to start fighting the household. Blow.